Yeah, yeah, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, I'm walking 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 my goals for OPL, definitely every time I come into an OPL season, I want to look to win it all. And definitely that comes from before you even join a team, when you're looking to gather five players together, you're looking at the, the roster and you're thinking like, can I win? And everyone has that thought in their minds. So this year, um, I kind of got on board with teams earlier. I got given more opportunities, more chances after my performance in 2018. We don't team fight and we're just gonna work. Oh, I'm rising rumble of fucking useless, man. I still, I, this is why I've been Yasuo and Solid Kings. If I see I, that. I, I and I feel like the roster has been built to win OPL, and I think Same. that's my goal, and that is the goal of the team to win OPL. I think we can do it, we just need to put in a lot more work and effort from here on out. I find with a new team, my teammates have played a few splits of APL already. Doss is a veteran, we have Quinn, Brandon and Jordan who have played multiple splits. So I think compared to my academy team, they already have a good base knowledge of what the team should do at certain moments. And so I can sort of rely on them, but also shock all myself. And I find that really useful because we have a good direction in game, we work together and like we always commit when someone makes a call. We love team fighting and I think that works out really well for us. Uh, bringing on Bill in this team, I've always played with in, this, in the past these supports who have already played and had a, gained a lot of experience for themselves like Destiny, uh, Regret9, Ejim. I've played with all of them but I've never played with like a rookie who I like try to just improve or like teach him based off my own experiences. and. It's been very enjoyable to just like see how fast he improves and how like much he learns off of my advice and I think he can easily be the best support in like by the end of the split. So if we do that then we should stay first That's it. And then I'll just take the one into it. So I've been playing with Rays for quite a while now. Um, it's been since 2016 I believe, um, the end of that. Uh, when, when he joined the team, he was a very quiet, quiet person. Um, kept to himself. It was like sort of, sort of a pretty hard guy to read for me, um, which I'm normally quite good at. But I don't know. We sort of just clicked, and I think he really um, clung on to me a little bit, just sort of like easing into the environment more. And when the rosters have changed, it's just auto sort of always been around me and Quinn. Um, I can't explain why. I think I think we have a weird per like we have a weird relationship going, but it's friendly, of course. Um, and yeah, he's he, I, it's really exciting to see him grow over the years because uh, if you would have told me like a few years ago that he would be like a co-leader and someone that's just sort of like a very big leading voice in the environment, I wouldn't have believed just so. Seeing his transformation as a person has, um, yeah, it's made me really happy to see that type of stuff. This one, in the middle. Go get the, the, the R&D again. Hey, do remember you when you offered me last time? I just the middle seat. Nice. What do you mean? I just what happened to enter. No, you can't offer me. You like forced me to go in the middle seat. Yeah, it's like so. Oh, it's very chat. Wait. Oh. Wait. Yeah. I'll, I'll get used to it. Oh, it's my second day. We had some guy, like a like a Fox Sports guy, follow us around for four months, like overseas. I remember that. Yeah. It was pretty confronting at first. He really gets his f***ing the camera in your in your f***ing nostrils. He, he's gotta get those shots. Yeah, he did. He'd be like, he'd, 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 there'd be a meme, and he'd be like, hey, he'd just be like, hey, Quint, can we have a chat? Your out wasn't getting in your face though. Nah, when when there was like angry conversations, he'd get in there. <laughs> with the camera or like talk? No, with the camera. I actually did not know this. Was didn't he oh, ask you guys? Didn't he ask you guys to like? I was going to like replay like an angry discussion with you. Yeah, yeah, we had two months. Yeah. Wait, 
what then that's you guys like, did. I didn't agree to it. I, I'd be, I'd be so, like, if I was angry and we just had an argument, I'd be I wasn't like, angry, oh, I wasn't, right? I wasn't it was like a serious thing. like discussion or something. It was a serious discussion. But we did have a few arguments that went, like, he just got footage of. Like, there was one of the arguments that was on the doctor. No, you, as a top lane, you can't have carry Yasuo. I refuse. No. Play the first Q, you auto him three times before he's unstunned. Then you ult oh, to dodge so another Q. You get true damage kill off and you're dead. And yeah. Yasuo's just dead before you can get a kill. I'm actually just dead. It's, yeah. that's stupid. It's 100% you are yeah, dead before you get the Q. Yeah, but you don't get the It does if you get the jump on Yas, yes. But you can't How just. How do you not get the jump on Yas? When he's in a minion wave, just like pushing into oh, you, so it's, it's, you can like just you can dodge the Camille's E pretty easily. The Camille should be like, of course, if the Camille misses. This is assuming both players like hit this shit, right? If both players play correctly, I feel like it's Yas' favorite because Yas should be able to dodge the Camille. E. Okay, if you say that. Then Camille can E flash and guarantee it. So I always see cats like get mad, get like they go like zero ten and then they just one shot. I see 40 CS Katarina's at 10 minutes to get triples. I'm so good. It's Chiefs versus Gravitas. Chiefs are going to start up by banning LeBlanc on blue side. Now, Chiefs have lost two in a row, Rusty. This is the worst skid that they've had all split play. Yes, of course. Now, 7-3 and three in the standings. The Chiefs want to get some redemption. Gravitas on the back of a 2-0 week, however, in contrast to that of the Chiefs looking to make that potentially three. It definitely oh, needs big on. action. Claire. He's been a big part of that team. But you know what's big as well is the dive for the Chiefs on the bottom. Decoy trying to play Decoy right now. It's a one-for-one -one trade with the four-man dive. And Raid actually stays alive. Blastone is oh. going to deny only. But he's able to hop forward. Oh, Into the pit he goes. Pretty easy pickings there for Harry. Freilis, though, is going to go down. And now Swiper tags in with Abu. And it looks like he's going to be chewing up Harry. That ends up being a one for two Chiefs trade. Did not see that one coming. That was so good for Claire. No, going to force. They feel like they have to. Flash of the taunt. Do they have the damage to finish the job? Freilis hops in. They get two Guardian Angels pop Ray's left and right. Raze goes around the side. Look at those crits. He's firing them off. And Gravitas are battered and bruised. Decoy's going to fall down. Raze picks up one QSS early on. Abu completely out of this fight. And he's one of the last members standing as Harry trying to limp away the double kill. And that should open up the base for the game. It's a long game. But it's a methodical game. It's a methodical victory in the end. They force Gravitas. They pull and push them around the rip until they get exactly what they're after. And they get back on the board with another win. It was a planned and calculated gameplay. They take the victory over Gravitas to get back on the board. And that's one of the things that makes the Chiefs so scary. It's their individual talent on top of their ability to play around the map as well. They've got the vision set up. Only a couple of small hiccups here and there. But a hard force composition, an R button composition from Gravitas, taking on a split pushing style. To see the split pushing team win, what you would call the harder to execute composition. I think my first death was pretty bad there. We didn't have very good vision, like also, like in their jungle until I, I think, said something. Did you have bot lift, boss? Huh? Did you have bot lift? When? Like mid mid game? Uh, like, there were windows, yeah. I think when, when you move, we Walking to their top side and we position down. Because we were, we were too scared to walk to their top side and I was really deep in front lane. And I was just being talented, but they were grouped as like four mid with Syndra. I just felt like we were reacting to them the whole game. Like they were always the first team to be together, do something. But that, we that's always. what they're meant to do, right? We're meant to play around split. Yeah, but we need to get like vision. I think we should have put you quite a lot earlier. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they wouldn't have had the answer to you, Bot. Okay. Yeah, they wouldn't have had any answer to you, Bot. Yeah, I would have fucked with Crocs. They, they can't go on me. They can't rotate on me. I think that's one of the huge things. Because we just... Like, I can't push the Sarah Bot and you're at the right top lane. Yeah. We both have the push, but we can't get much. I felt, I felt a lot of 
darkness, like when I was weak side of that game. And that doesn't happen in scrims. Like when I'm weak side, I don't feel that like darkness. Of like, we normally have like bot side control when like they're playing top side. Mm. Especially, or not after six, but. Was it because we were scared? <laughs> it was pre six. We didn't have pretty much any wars in their bot jungle. It was always river. So my initial goals, um, like since like literally joining the OPL, like I've always had a desire and I've always like wanted to make it to an OPL final. Um, that's been like a really big, that's just like a dream of mine. And um, since joining this team, that is like, that dream is like as real as it's ever been. And I think we could actually, like I know with this team, like we can take it further. Like not only making an OPL final, which is my dream, but like to actually win it. So. Um, yeah. If, you, if you're not comfortable driving in the city, that requires skill. Like I'm driving around driving the city, the driving highways. to Piemont, like parking in Piemont, that all counts as skill level. And I, I do that every week, so you, I put myself in a higher level. You, okay. you do not you do not drive in the CBD. I do sometimes when, driving, I, mi when I miss turns. Driving to Star City does not count. <laughs> like when I'm coming from Charles, I sometimes take a wrong turn, Quinn will tell you. Yeah, and I drive through twice. the CBD. And I don't stress at all. Zero stress. I think a lot of the fundamentals uh, just sort of allow us to do as well as we do at the moment. I don't think we really have systems or like we have ways of practicing or strategies that we think of that we want to use because we're like good at them or anything. I think we just have good basics and from there we need to expand on it. I think we do have a lot of issues to work on so I would say um, a lot of our success comes off comes from individual skill at the moment so I think we need to kind of expand from there. No we've never lost AV. Ever. Oh, that's for sure. Oh. I had so it's many regrets. No, we, we, we haven't even dropped one game like not even a game. Yeah, like I'll, to, I'll to say, I had so many regrets from our uh, What about uh, not in OPL but in ESL we did. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I had two, oh, I two, two late yeah, game Azir games and I threw oh, both yeah, of them. The Series Recon. The Kindred Azir at Baron? Did he play Recon? Yeah, he did. I remember yeah. what that Blinky Trolled and gave a side selection on purpose. The one all down mid. That was the same game, right? Yeah. Oh no. I, I, I just didn't flash the honor and I died. Nah, you still were dead. No, I was, if Which I flashed game? the honor, I was not dead. Wait, like what? Game 4 against us? Yeah. When Last split? Braum flash keyed you? Yes. No, you were dead, man. I'd flash, and I'm full range. How do you remember the fire? No, I, I did we've a talked full, about this so many I times. I did a full shuffle away, and I was we, so far away from your whole you team. You were slowed, man. It doesn't matter. When I, give I you was guys slowed for like half a second longer. I had red buff on you. No, no, no. If I flashed and didn't get knocked out by the owner, I was alive. No, you were dead. You I, were bronc I was so were far away from your team. You were bronc <laughs> No, okay. We didn't gank so a And like, that's not where we want to play towards either. <laughs> Like, we, we want to play towards same. this yeah. bot lane where we, we can, like, win in 2v2. Maybe even the safe is, like, parving to top side. Yeah. Yeah. We just, we just play Dominus Order. Dominus Order. The Dominus win. Yeah, they order them all the time. You know, all of a sudden, triple goes in. It's like when you're a good person, but you just want to blame someone because yeah, they're so pissing you, you off really just bad. Blame them, don't, don't be like, don't be like, don't be like no, but you're a good person, so you don't blame. No, I remember in that game when I, when I was fighting Pargo and Bill like was on Pargo's team at the end of the game, you we were just like, well, GG, I guess, smiley face. <laughs> I can give Bill like two splits in the OPR oh, and he'll be. He'll be uh, nice. Nah, he'll, he'll, he won't change. He's been in O's. He's been in O's for like three years now, and he's not toxic. So the damage. Not happening. He's gonna go through. Wait for the wolf to already be started. Quez here. At the very least, he'll be able to steal a little bit of them away. So is Shock. Here we go. Scattering the weak onto the LeBlanc. They got the charm out, and they're going for it, trying to get that one-two punch combo. And they will claim first blood. Only refreshes his red buff. And he's on the flank inhibitor. right now. Let's see if he goes in. Waiting for the cow. The inhib's gonna fall. Not quite yet. Three in people. they go. Closing the traps. That's the last breath. And Chiefs are looking for the big V here. Shock is finally gonna fall down. And it's Swayth and Aladoric out of there. 
but Chiefs close the net. And that's so big for the Chiefs. They get the momentum back in their favor. They headbutts the wall really tragically. He's trying to keep vision. Nocturne has ultimate. He's just used it. And they go in for the Ezreal immediately. He's going to Mystic. Shot and Arcane shift away. Claire. Look at the Yasuo and Alistar though, nowhere to go for oh, AB. they're gonna collapse here. Swades is trying to get a kill on only in the meantime. He pops the Guardian Angel here and it's just everyone hunting for targets, looking for gun crabs. Swades, Alidor, who is it gonna be? Raze is gonna start off with one, looking for those big picks. He gets the last breath. There's a shutdown though. Chippies does manage to take down only. Chippies! And it's just who can find who first. They cut through turrets fast, but they're gonna have to win the team fight if they wanna make it. And they go in for... The Evelyn, but it was a bait on the opposite side. However, Sway just didn't have the health bar to stay alive. Today, and Ray's in the middle. They're going to get two. Looking for even more here as Chippies tries to get the Riposte on, but he can only find one target at a time. The last breath onto Gun Crab now, turning their attention over to Shock the double kill. And it's Chippies trying to run interference, but he can't save the game. That's the team wipe. That's the ace. That's going to be the win for Chiefs. Big team fight from the Chiefs. They'll get themselves the victory. It took 37 minutes almost, 36 and a half, but they get there in the end. How good is Raze at League of Legends? What a beast. 806, the only unkilled player in the game, and Chiefs Esports Club step up big against the would be challengers of Avant, but man, they had to earn every second of that. A hard fought battle, you're absolutely right. Every inch had to be earned, every inch was punished that an overstep was seen, but at the end of the day, the Chiefs still get it. They still stay strong, but you can see the look of relief, the size on some faces as well. It was a hard So going into this split, um, I think not only like the public but us, we didn't expect to do as well as we've been doing. Uh, it's week, week, going into week uh, five now. And to be honest, like to be second place and to be arguably the best team in the region is something that we didn't expect. Like we were, we were planning to like aim for Worlds this roster. And I think our expectations have been like pushed out the door and it's really showed us like our um ability of like what we can do as a team i think we are the smartest team in the apl right now and i just think if we like fix a bit of our twerks and our, and, uh, our weaknesses i guess I, I believe that we really can take this split because i haven't been internationally in a while in terms of competing it's been pretty pretty brutal for myself and none of these players pretty much have actually won a championship yet other than quinn um so i think it's going to be really exciting and i have a lot of high hopes for everyone